Wow, we have celeb exes like Tulita Bete and Thibaut Touch, DJ Zinle and AKA who get along so well. We still have ex-celebrity couples who would rather poke their eyes out than be in the same room together. And today we are focusing on those stubborn ones, that is ex-celebrity couples who are now enemies. Bonang and Euphonic. Bonang and Euphonic had a toxic relationship around 2008 when she was still on the come up in the entertainment industry. The relationship eventually ended with Bonang battered and bruised and pressing domestic violent charges against Euphonic. She also claims he cheated on her multiple times. Euphonic says Bonang was a pathological liar who couldn't control her alcohol and would hit him and throw things when she was drunk. He further accused her of being mentally unstable and taking drugs. They have shaded each other over the years and they are unlikely to stop. Tembisa and Atandwa Kani. A lot has been said about Tembisa Mdota and Atandwa Kani. The former couple's business was splashed all over the internet after their separation. Atandwa and Tembisa got married in 2012 after dating on and off since 2004. The marriage lasted three years. The divorce drama had us at the edge of our seats. According to Atandwa, the actor dumped Tembisa because she was cheating on him with another man and that she had also aborted that man's child. After the divorce, Tembisa allegedly banned him from seeing the kids that they had together and also claimed that he physically abused her and abandoned them. In a bid to settle things, he demanded a paternity test. He had asked for one in 2012 when the twins were born, but Tembisa allegedly refused. So to keep the peace, he let the issue go. So after the divorce, he said he needed to know for sure. Well, they did a paternity test and he found out that the twins were not his. <sighs> but belonged to Andy Leno Dada, a married pilot. Tembisa denied the results, saying they were inconclusive. They started dragging each other through the mud and it was a shit show. Both families got involved and tried their best to trash the opposite party. Well, Anilem Dada did most of the dragging, but... To this day, Atanwa and Tembisa don't have any type of relationship together and when asked about her first marriage, she says, I don't recognize my first marriage, it was a mistake. James Mosamai and Meme, aka Dingan and Solo, the two were lovebirds on Muvango and thought it would be a good idea to also start dating. Well, that was a terrible idea because yes, things were hot and heavy for a while and they even have a baby together. Then boom, the relationship ended and things got nasty. Dingan accused Solo of denying him the right to see their daughter. He even called her an evil mom and child kidnapper. He even said, when I met Sulu, it's on site. Sulu hit back and called him a liar who wasn't interested in seeing his daughter. Dingan also allegedly physically and emotionally abused her and was a beast who hit her for no reason. Mapaseka Mokwele even got dragged into it with Sulu claiming that Mapaseka was one of the reasons why Dingani broke up with Sulu. Sulu says Mapaseka found Dingani and told him that Sulu was flirting with Mapaseka's husband Tibo's live on radio. So yeah, there is no love lost between those two. But Dang Mateba makes it onto the list again. She definitely knows how to hold a grudge. Well, after dating Bonang and getting dumped, AKA went around saying Bonang bewitched him and planted a plastic full of rocks in his bedroom so that he would leave DJ Zinkle for her. He even dropped a song called Beyonce that was clearly aimed at Bonang, acting like Bonang was the one who cheated on DJ Zinkle, shading Bonang for sleeping with him while he was still with DJ Zinkle, acting like he wasn't a willing participant in the whole thing. He says she was a liar and a cheater who he has never seen without makeup or a weave. While B has never been messy, she shaded him here and there saying his music was whack and all of that. He proceeded to get back with DJ Zinle. Then when they broke up, he started liking Bonang's pictures on IG, calling her a goddess. And to top it all off, he never deleted Bonang's pictures from his IG. If this is what those rocks do, then girl, give us your plug. Of course, Bonang just said, this all gives small dick energy and kept it moving. Ouch. Anthem Bali and Black Coffee. Not so long ago, Anthem Bali and Black Coffee were considered to be one of SA's biggest power couples. And heck, we thought they would be together forever. But because Mjolo is unpredictable, the two called it off. Well, Anthem claims she went through two affairs and alleged physical and emotional abuse in the 10 years that she was with Black Coffee. So it's a little understandable if she can't stand him at the moment. 
After the separation, they went at each other on social media with Enche detailing how draining and toxic the marriage was and Black Coffee telling her to seek help. She was touted a gold digger, exposed for not paying electricity, but she clapped back and said she had helped him build his career while she sacrificed her own career for him. The two went at it for a while. But as things stand now, they are trying to be civil again. She even congratulated him for his Grammy win. So we'll see how long the peace lasts. Jup Jup and Kelly Kumalo, those two were romantically linked in the late 2000s. It's reported that the two went out while Jup Jup was still in a relationship with Amanda Dupont. They dated her the son and broke up just before Jup Jup was sent off to prison. Kelly claims Jup Jup physically abused her and she even has the pictures to prove it. He allegedly caused her to miscarry their first child and always wanted money. And she claims he was with her so he could be relevant. She also calls him a deadbeat father who has never asked after his son. For Jup Jup Kelly is a manipulative, two-faced multi user who is keeping him from his son. He says he never wanted to be with Kelly, but she trapped him with Muti. Well, Kelly doesn't care and is busy trying to kill the Jup Jup in her son. SK and Gogoma Weni. It's unclear how SK and our resident Sangoma turned reality star Gogoma Weni met, got involved, and had a child. All we know is that a couple of years ago, SK and Gogo dominated the tabloids after Gogo dragged him for failing to provide child support for their son. She even took him to court for it. They don't get along with Gogo trashing SK every chance she gets. It's no secret that SK seems to be going through something. A couple of months ago, videos of him trying to instigate fights with multiple people hit the internet. To this day, SK maintains that he has no recollection of what was happening in those videos. Then another video of him eating a random punani came out. All this extra behavior has fans thinking Gogoma Weni must have bewitched him. Gogo responded with this video. Kids don't eat. They don't eat. Guys, I cannot be held responsible for taking care of my own kids and making sure that my kids are provided for. If you guys want to call me names and call me a witch because... But she hasn't done anything. But now, if your child don't eat no, but how would you feel? Would you actually not do anything for your child? You are in the streets, you're with girls, you're drinking. You're... Anyway, that didn't really bother me. What bothered me was the fact that he thought it was okay and he could get away with it. That while SK hasn't said anything much to her directly on social media, he did say she's a cloud chaser. If you're looking for relationship drama, then Stello and Andle's baggage is where it's at. They two started dating two and a half years ago, and at the time their age difference had Msansi talking. Andle was 19 and Stello was a whooping seven years older than him. The two proceeded to make two babies before Andile dumped Stello weeks before his marriage to Tamiya Lo was also heavily pregnant at the time. Yo, this boy hates condoms. Things went quiet for six months before Stello dropped the bomb. She accused Andile of physically and emotionally abusing using her for the duration of their relationship. She said, I was beaten to a pulp, had a miscarriage at the hands of my so-called victim in a room full of his friends and family, rushed to the nearest hospital and treated like nothing happened. Andile never defended himself and his mother, Mamkize, and sister Swatlem Pisane called her a liar. <laughs> She went on to release an audio of him threatening to kill her, telling her she will always be beneath him. She then created a petition to get the courts to grant her a protection order. It got over 50,000 signatures. In it, she said, The father of my children beat me to a pulp while I was pregnant with our last child. And I had to wait three days to find out if my baby would survive. The last straw was... Him questioning the paternity of our last child after everything I had gone through. So yes, Andile claims he cheated in their relationship, so he is not sure if Coco, their second child, is his. It has been alleged that him and his mother are refusing Stella access to her first daughter with him, baby Flo.
Maybe all these celebs should take a book out of Sarah Langer's book who dated Rapper K.O. for a good 5 years but claims she doesn't know who he is. Which is sound advice because instead of spending all your energy fighting on Twitter, you could just pretend you've never met and you don't know the other exists and keep it moving.